With tightening security in the regions U.S. forces currently operate, the business of illegal munitions being brought into the country have been forced to be smuggled where U.S. forces find it difficult to patrol. Troopers of the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, Horse Detachment, replicate tactics used by smugglers by operating in terrain where it is difficult to patrol by vehicle. Uh, I think we bring a better sense of realism for the, the RTU. Like, I don't think they would expect to see live animals out there and especially not expect us to be smuggling, so it kind of adds a sense they need to be aware of everything around them, not just the uh, things that they expect to happen. Um, with the goal is to familiarize the rotational units to the similar tactics used in places like Afghanistan. The mission will uh, head out to the box and, uh, and depending on our mission, we'll uh, load the mules and we'll uh, head out on our route, uh, try to go through main routes that the, the RT will interact with us, depending on the, uh, the mission for what they have, the mission for the OP4. We'll uh, do smuggling operations or we'll do uh, uh, any kind of operations to just interact with the RTU just to add a sense, better sense of realism. Troopers attended the Marine Animal Packing Course at the Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center in order to better prepare for smuggling operations and handling animals. A lot of different ways to pack things, different techniques and a bunch of different knots on how to uh, actually put things on the mule and then actually like how to train mules if we were going to country and uh, have to find our own animals. Both aspects of my job is very exciting. On one hand, you have shows and parades, and you're working a lot, doing a lot of recruiting type aspects. And then the other side, you have smuggling, which is my favorite. I love going out in the box and you know going on missions. We're going in tight areas between mountains and stuff to where they go through initially packed or unpacked, and they can slip through easily. But once they're packed and they've got a full load on, they're having a hard time squeezing through, and they're jumping on rocks and they're scaling stuff that you don't think a mule could climb, but it's pretty exciting being able to chase a mule up a hill, <laughs> and he's just getting up there a lot faster than you are. The training the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment currently provides here prepares our soldiers to become more situationally aware of the environment they are about to deploy, helping stop illegal munitions being brought into the region. Reporting from Fort Irwin, California, I'm Captain Chad Cooper.